Hey guys, welcome back. It's Isabel here and today we have a bit of a random Cartier unboxing. This was not on my wish list, but something similar to this item was actually on my wish list recently, which I've removed from my wish list recently as well. So um, I'm really excited to show you what I ended up getting and I am so in love with it. Before we get into Cartier, this portion of the video is in collaboration with Karma, who I've worked with a number of times before. You guys know that I like to only work with a number of companies, only a few of them that I really believe in, and Karma is definitely one of them. In case you are new to Karma, it is an online app and Chrome extension that alerts you every time your saved item on your dashboard goes on a discount or an out of stock item comes back in stock. So if you're like me and you like to shop smart and get a discount wherever possible i'll leave a link to karma in the description section below so do make sure that you check it out if you haven't installed karma already over the years i've saved so much money thanks to karma and just one great example is number of Zimmerman pieces. You guys know that Zimmerman is an Australian designer brand that I absolutely adore the style of. So I do have quite a number of pieces from Zimmerman and there are a number of pieces actually that I scored on a sale thanks to Karma. Especially for the brands that you know occasionally go on a sale, I definitely want to make some savings there and not buy them full price if possible. Obviously, brands like Cartier doesn't technically go on sale, but if you are happy to shop sort of the resale or the consignment market through websites like Fashion File, you can always save your items that you're interested in on your Karma dashboard because sometimes these consignment stores have 10%, 20%, 30% off as well. So I say even if you're into premium designers that never really go on a sale technically, from retail, you can utilize Karma that way. Now, let me show you really quickly how Karma works. When you click on my link, it'll take you to this Karma homepage. You've just got to download the Chrome extension, or you can just add to Chrome from the Chrome web store directly as well. Add extension. Then you've just got to create a free account. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to log in. Then head over to one of your favorite online stores and you'll see this button pop up on the side, which is the Karma button. Then look for something that is on your wish list. I'm going to save these St. Laurent Tribute platform sandals onto my Karma dashboard. I normally select notify any price change, then save. And you can also save items on your mobile as well if you're shopping on your phone. So now when your saved item goes on a sale or when there's a relevant coupon, Karma will notify you either via email or push notification on mobile. Or if the item has been out of stock, you're also gonna receive an alert when it comes back in stock. You can also drag this Karma button up and down so that it stays out of your way when you're browsing online. Also upon checkout, Karma uses clever technology to scan the web for coupon codes and automatically applies them at checkout. This feature is only a available on your computer. So make sure you install the Chrome extension so you can use all of the beneficial features of Karma. Also, when you go back to your Karma dashboard, you see that you can actually organize your items into different lists. So I have my list down here so you can keep your wish list organized. Another great Karma feature is that when you shop from select retail partners, Karma gives cash back to you and to a good cause. As you can see, it is very easy to use. It is 100% free for you to use. So don't forget to check out Karma. As I said, I'll leave a direct link to Karma in the description section below. And now let's start with our unboxing. So like I said, it is an item that I never mentioned, but I think it is such a good item and it'll be a timeless piece, a versatile piece that I think you can even hand down generations and I can definitely see even, you know, sharing this one with my mom even. So I feel like this piece is something that is really good for all ages, all builds and all complexions. I already opened it because I just had to check it out. Um, so this particular piece was not available online and it was not available in any of the Sydney boutiques. But when I noticed this piece on the Cartier website, I really, really love the look of it. So I asked one of the sales associates at Cartier and she kindly transferred it from one of the Melbourne stores, I believe. But without further rambling, let's just show you what it is that I picked up and then we can all talk about the rest of the story together and I can show you, you know, what it looks like on me and why I bought it and all the rest of it. Oh, also, let me just show you what else came with it. I did ask for the care kit 
but they ran out so I didn't get a care kit but inside the bag the sales associate included a little travel pouch which is really nice and compact I actually don't mind small travel pouches because they don't take up much room in your luggage there is a certificate of authenticity and she also included a little sample of one of the signature perfumes called Le Panther. Panther is very symbolic for the Cartier house. I honestly don't think this scent is my cup of tea, but apparently it is signature. And now let's get into the actual item. Every time I look at the Cartier box on the inside with the gold trim, it makes me so happy. And to show you guys, I actually got the Trinity necklace with the diamonds on the white gold ring. So you guys know that I had the Trinity hoop earrings on my wish list for a little while after spotting it on a Korean actress from the drama called Mine. I fell in love with the simplicity of this design and I generally have always been intrigued by the Trinity line because of the three tone metals. So the Trinity line always has the yellow gold, rose gold, and the white gold all in the one piece. So I've always been drawn to the Trinity rings, also those Trinity hoop earrings. But if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you guys know that I actually crossed off the Trinity earrings from my wish list because of the pricing issue. I saw them online and they were priced at 3,400 Australian dollars. But when I went into store to pick it up, well, to check it out, they said that pricing is actually wrong and that they actually retail 4,500. And I just thought, you know, the plain metal earrings with no diamonds, that is pretty steep. So that kind of was enough to turn me off that piece. So I have been thinking about the Trinity line for a little while, but recently I just felt this urge to get a small everyday sort of statement necklace that is really carefree. And I didn't want something way too dainty. You guys know that I do have a CD Cartier necklace with a tiny little diamond stud. That one is a really, really cute and dainty everyday necklace, but one, it is in the white gold. And two, it is very small. So sometimes I do want the option of a slightly more substantial piece. And that piece is usually my Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra necklace in the vintage size with the mother of pearl. That one though, I don't actually reach for that much, I've noticed, because it does have the precious stone, which is the mother of pearl, which apparently can shrink and get damaged if you get any water on it, sweat, that sort of thing, and you can't even leave it on to go in the shower. So it does make me a little bit anxious to wear that. And recently, I just feel like I just see it everywhere and there's nothing wrong with that. I really don't see a problem wearing a piece that is more common but I feel like that specific combination with the yellow gold with the mother of pearl in the vintage size I just see it so much that I feel like it just lost that uniqueness and then when I was scrolling through Cartier website this one really stuck out at me and I don't personally know anyone in the YouTube world or even you know Instagram or in real life who has this particular piece I do know one person who has a Trinity necklace which is my good friend here on YouTube Kat L she has a small version that I believe she got as a present from her former boss if I remember correctly and I've always thought that necklace was such a beautiful piece so I think you know I was thinking I'm gonna look for something like that so that I can have a piece that's slightly less commonly seen than the BCA piece so I was looking at the Trinity line and what do you know this is actually their feature photo when you click on the Trinity line on the Cartier website and I scrolled all the way down to the end of the necklace section and this one just really caught my eye so i went into it and i just love all the details of it and i also love that it is slightly larger than the small ones that i've been looking at and the diamonds on the white gold ring are so sparkly and you've also got a row of diamonds on that sort of ring section as well and the chain is actually in rose gold and rose gold complements my skin tone the best i think even much better than yellow gold so that is 
what happened. So I went into Cartier and the rest is history. Like I said, the sales associate tracked it down for me from Melbourne and it literally arrived within a day or two. It was super fast shipping. So I'm really, really happy with this. I also really like the fact that this is more or less a more subtle design. So for people who are very familiar with Cartier will instantly recognize this. But if you're not really into designer goods, then it is just a really nicely designed everyday necklace that, you know, you may not actually know that it is a designer brand. I just feel like this is the perfect everyday, still dainty and understated statement. It's not too large, but it's not so small. Now, let me show you what the necklace looks like on me. So I just put the necklace on my neck on the longer setting. It does have two length settings. I do like the longer setting on this design particularly. It sits kind of about two centimeters below the collarbone level. And I think this is the perfect drop for this size, but you can make a slightly shorter. It does have another length setting and it'll sort of sit around there, which if you like the shorter choker length look, then that is a great option as well. Another thing that I just really love about Cartier necklaces is that the chain is so sparkly. I don't know how much the camera is picking up, but in person, the chain just looks so sparkly and beautiful. It's almost like little diamonds on the chains. The other thing that I really like about this necklace is that although you have all these diamonds on the white gold ring and also that connecting ring bit, if you want a more understated look for a day, then you can wear the necklace the other way. And if you wear the necklace this way, then it becomes a much more understated necklace with no diamond sparkles. So I just love the fact that you can wear this necklace both ways depending on your outfit and the occasion. So that was my quick random unboxing of this beautiful Cartier piece. Like I said, it is definitely a bit of an unexpected purchase but I think this is a perfect piece for my own collection and I don't know I may actually even let the vintage Alhambra necklace go from uh, VCA because of the reasons I've stated so I'm not sure whether I'm going to be keeping both because the motive size on this necklace and the vintage Alhambra necklace are quite similar but I just really prefer the look of this Trinity necklace so I may actually let that one go. As you guys know, I'm not a huge collector. I am more pragmatic about my luxury collection and I don't like to keep too many things in my collection. I just want to have a sensible collection that makes sense in my lifestyle. And yeah, so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with that, but it is such a classic piece. I'll sit on it and have a think about it for a little bit longer. Thank you again to Karma for part sponsoring this video. Again, don't forget to check out Karma by clicking on the link that I left in the description section below. I guarantee you that you're going to get so much use out of it and save so much money with your shopping. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave two other Cartier videos on screen. So if you haven't watched them already, do head over to one of those videos. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and spending some of your precious time with me today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys!